Hello, this is Mr. Beck. In this tutorial, we'll be working with a bitmap. Uh, we'll be working with rotation and direction, and we'll be creating a simple game from this. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, you'll need to go to my GitHub page here, github.com slash Android Teacher. You're going to want to pick up the uh, simple bitmap program. It's based on Paint Demo, and this is what it looks like right now. Um, at the time you watch this video, I'm sure. Hopefully, there'll be a lot more. Um, if you're not familiar with Simple Bitmap, you may want to watch the Paint Demo series and familiarize yourself with the basic uh, application here. Or you can download Simple Bitmap and just read it over. All right. So here I am inside of um, this program that I've imported into Eclipse. And you should be familiar with importing a project into Eclipse from GitHub at this point if you're in my class. Um, also, if you're in my class, I ask that you please open up the panel class. The panel class is where we're doing all of our drawing, and I need you to read the comments that I've put here. Uh, these comments, every time you see a comment, I want you to read it. I want you to look at what's happening. And you need to study this for a minute. You need to take a minute and read it over because we're going to be manipulating all of these things. And um, you, you really should familiarize yourself with every class and every variable that we're using. I'm going to talk about just one right now, and it's the matrix class. Okay, um, We're going to be drawing a bitmap to the screen, an image. In order to do that, we're going to load all of our position, rotation, and scale data into a class that's designed to hold that. It's the matrix class. And every time we draw the image, we'll be using the information that's within the matrix class to uh, sort of position and align the image. So we have an instance of that called position here, and we'll be populating that later on. Now, um, once you've read over the panel class, all right, and you've familiarized yourself with the on draw function, and uh, you can see that I've incorporated a function here called update. All right, just take a look at it and, and read the comments there. Go to uh, mainactivity.java, and I'm going to ask you to set up a button. Now, once again, if you're in my class, uh, setting up a button is something that we've done repeatedly. Um, you should be able to handle that. Um, I have a simple generic button set up here that I've done already. Okay, and inside of the layout XML file for this project, you're going to find a button called button 1. And that's the first one that I'm using here. Now I've added one new component to this button. All right, and I need you to take a look at it. Um, inside of on touch for the event, I have I'm checking to see whether or not the button is being held down or is in the down position or right here. I'm checking to see whether or not the button is in the up position. Now this code is pretty easy to find, but this is an opportunity right here for you to pause the video, verify that inside of your button set on touch listener for the on touch method, you have this check for action down and the event action up. Because what we're going to do is when the button is pressed down, we're going to rotate the bitmap in a certain direction. And if the button is released, we're going to stop the rotation and it's going to sit still. So the state of the button, whether or not it's up or down, is going to be important in this program. Take a look at that and uh, make sure that you've got that set up within your main activity class. Okay, so if you've got a button set up and initialized and we've got and you've familiarize yourself with the panel class. We're going to go ahead and uh, let's create a getter setter class. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say new class. And I'll just go ahead and I'll call this getter setter. And once again, inside of the getter setter class, we're just going to hold some static variables. All right. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say public static and we'll call make it an int. And we'll go ahead and we'll say button one pressed equals zero. All right. And you know, I'll go ahead and I'll, we have two buttons in this program that are designed for steering or rotation. So I'll go ahead and I'll button one pressed and button two pressed. 
Okay. So inside of the getter setter, we now have two variables that are set to zero. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, inside of my main activity class, we're going to toggle just the button one value. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say getter setter dot uh, button one press. Now in the event the action down, the button is pressed down, we'll set it to one. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same thing. When the button is released, we are then going to toggle that value back to zero. Okay. So uh, button one pressed equals one in the event it goes down and button one pressed equals zero. So inside of the getter setter class, we now know whether or not the button is down or up, which means inside of our on draw class, we'll be able to take some kind of action based on that. Now in our program, uh, this is, will be our left button. Um, when I press the left button, that value will be one. And when I release it, it'll be zero and uh, we'll make the, the ship rotate in that event in the next video. So thank you for watching. And, uh, in the next video, we'll implement our basic rotation.